Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that every single photographer or videographer or anybody that's ever taken a picture uses, and that's memory cards. It's something that's so underrated in photography, but is so important. Um, if you've been taking pictures for any time at all, you may have realized that if you keep taking pictures really quick, one after the other, your camera will eventually completely stop or completely just slow down. Um, when we very first started taking pictures in 2010, we would be shooting a bride as she's coming down the aisle and the, it, you know, it would take like the first five or six and then our camera would just start going really slow and it's like, what the heck, my camera is supposed to be seven frames per second and it's not even taking a picture. Um, so there's a couple things that can cause that, but what I wanted to talk about was the memory card. Uh, you can buy a $5 memory card or you can buy a $500 memory card. Um, there's such a wide price range and I think that deters a lot of people from investing a lot of money in a memory card because you can get the same capacity like 8 gigabytes or 16 or 32 or 64. They make them all the way up to like 512 gigabytes now on these tiny little cards which is insane. Uh, there's a couple things. When you're looking at a memory card, the capacity is normally the big number. That's always advertised. It's like 8 gigs, 4 gigabytes, you know, 16, whatever. Um, and that number is not nearly as important as this next number. The next number is the read and write speed. Um, so, for example, on this card, it says 95 megabytes per second. So that's how fast images can be written to this card. So if your card doesn't have a speed on it, that's a bad sign. That means that the card manufacturer was embarrassed to tell you how slow the card is. So like this card, it just says SanDisk. So awesome. What's the read or write speed? I don't know. It's not on there. Um, so that's a bad sign. And I'm going to show you why that is in one second. All right. So I'm going to show you in a very practical way what in the world this memory card difference is. So right here I have a 32 gig card uh, the size doesn't matter again but it's 95 megabytes per second so what i'm going to do i'm going to format it real quick and then um i'm just going to shoot 12 pictures so this little green light right here it shows when something is being written to or taken off of a memory card so canon has a light somewhere too not sure where it is but this little green light means that the card is doing something so I'm going to take 12 pictures and we're going to see how long it takes to write to the card. All right, so ready, set, go. So as soon as that light turns off, it's done. It's written to it. 23 seconds. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with... this card. And remember, this one is the one that doesn't have the speed on it. It just says, hey, this is how big the card is. So 12 pictures, ready? All right, so I have a feeling we're gonna be sitting here for a long time. And we have about one minute and 33 seconds. So you can tell that that's quite a big difference. So just think about that next time you're purchasing memory cards. How long do I have to wait until my camera can take another picture? And also when you take your pictures off the card, they go onto your computer a lot faster um, because it, it can just move pictures on and off the card really fast. And that's what's important. So if your camera stops taking pictures, that's why. Uh, most of the time. It's because your card is, is it's too slow. Your camera's trying to put pictures on there, trying to put pictures on there, and your card just can't take them fast enough. Um, so that's such an important thing. Spend extra money on your memory cards to get a faster memory card. And then also we get the more expensive memory cards because I've washed these, I've dried these, I've left them in the rain, I've pretty much, I mean, my kids have eaten them, um, and they still work. I had one fall apart at one point. I still got the images off and SanDisk sent me a brand new card. I've never had one corrupt um, and they've always worked. There's a bunch of other brands that are awesome, but I've just never had a reason to switch.